date 18 mwezi wa 11 nilitoka kwa nyumba nikafika hosi ilikuwa saa kumi. Nikisha afika hosi ni ma, ni nilipimwa pe nimefunguka na nikaambiwa nimefunguka nine alafu kisha wakaniweka maji then mamju kuna vitu alikuwa ameendea zinahitaji kanga nikakuja akaniletea akaenda home so akienda home nilipotaka kupush mtoto alindunga shindano ya mgongo wakindunga shindano ya mgongo uchungu ilisha kabisa wakapigia mam simu akawaambia kuja assign papers in the CS So mam juku ilikuwa late ilikuwa saa moja kuweza kukuja. Sasa wakasaini wakanipeleka CS. Nikishatoka CS nilitoka na mtoto na wakanipeleka kwa matani ward. Saa huko nilinyonyesha mtoto wangu ikifika saa nane. Walimchukua wakasema kuna vipimo wanataka kumpima. So mimi nikawaambia mchukueni muende mumpime. After that minutes wakakuja wakaniambia mtoto amepoteza fahamu. Nikauliza na kwa wapi? Wakaniambia wakikaa hivyo kuna place wanapelekangwa. Na nasa akatoka kwa ward akaenda. So the next day asubuhi 6 mama date 19 6 mama kakuja. Mam kukuja alinipata na akaniuliza mtoto wako wapi? So Daktari mwenye alikuwa hapo akamwambia niambie ni, akaniambia mimi mtoto wako akaniambia niambie mam vizuri mtoto wako wapi So kabla niongea akamwambia mtoto nilipata mtoto kama amechoka na mimi nilikuwa nanyonyesha mtoto So nikaambia huyu daktari aache kumdanganya Jumi nilinyonyesha mtoto So kutoka hapo mi si kuona mtoto tena mam akasema aonyeshwe bodi ya kuonyeshwa hadi mwili akasema maleso zenye zikuwa zimemfunika nazo ziko wapi akasema zote walimpeleka kwenye wanapeleka wangu na wakaweka acid after mama amesha toka akaenda akarudi home mi waliniletea birth notification na hiyo birth notification walikuwa wameandika niliza mtoto kama amepass na ni uongo hiyo mtoto wangu alikuwa uhai so mi nataka mi mtoto wangu mnirudishie mtoto kwa sababu si hakuna venye inaweza kuwa nikiponya kidonda na sina mtoto hakuwa na shida yote alikuwa ananyonya vizuri hadi wakimchukua alimchukua akilia hadi so hadi kitu nyenye inanishtua anasema anasema mtoto alikufa alikufa hadi na tu kuonyeshwa bodi so kaa alikufa watu wanyeshe bodi kaa kwa uhai watu wanyeshe penye walipeleka tumezungushwa zungushwa kwa sababu hadi mama tukienda kutoka waliambiwa tulipe pesa za disposo mama akauliza tunaweza lipa pesa za disposo na atuoni bodi kama mnataka tulipe leteni pe, leteni mwili tutalipa so si tukatoka tukifika kwa soja hakutikisha tutoke juadi alikataa kunitoa line so ikabidi turudi juu mi nikirudi juu mama alitoka akatoka akaenda atafute venye atafanya so di, dis, pesa za disposo tulilipa pesa za disposo na tukuona hadi mtoto si kwa unconscious yeah, 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 yes nilikuwa hapo Nilikuwa nimefungua macho na nilikuwa najisikia. Na nikaonyeshwa mtoto wangu na akapimwa kg na nikaambiwa kwa 3.4. Kutoka hiyo siku hadi naweza kuwa tu kaa nimekaa hivi nianze kusikia sauti zake venye alikuwa analia. Lakini venye nasikia sauti iko kwa akili yangu yu ayuko hapo. Mi nataka tu mi justice ya mtoto wangu ipatikane. Kao, 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 wanasema alipaswa, nirud, waleta body nione. We have never had another case of such in this child from Vika level 5. We have always had so many children that are abandoned babies in Vika level 5 and uh, they are reported here and we place them in the right place. However, in the recent past, there were no such cases and we thought that the because of the new structures that only have one exit from the maternity to go out of the maternity wing maybe that's why the cases were fewer of abandoned babies because the mothers could not have a way of running away from the hospital but now as a children officer now i feel like i have so many unanswered questions that maybe 
there is another business that could be happening and we, we would need a very serious kind of uh, investigations. If a baby died, if a mother had seen a baby, even a stillbirth, a, ba a child who is born and dead, the mother should be shown the dead body. So why should you be told your baby died and uh, you did not see that body? It, it, there must be something wrong with the, whatever happened on that day. The teenager is 17 years and uh, she says the father of the child was a 23 year old who died even before he knew she was pregnant. Now my worry is why could such a child be missing? If the child did it, died, why could they not be shown the body? Could there be issues, things that are happening about infant babies in Zika level 5? The mother, the teenage mother and the grandmother feel, are feeling at a loss because they don't know where to go, they are very vulnerable. And my fear is that like, maybe somebody took advantage of the teenage mother because she was very vulnerable and could not defend herself. It's our prayer that justice would be served in tracing that child. Good for us to clarify some few points. She came to this hospital with a history of three-day history of abdominal pains and also inability to perceive fetal movement for three days. On examination, the doctors were able to confirm that uh, for sure she was in labor and she was about to deliver and also there was also a possibility that she had intrauterine fetal demise. When with the, pro the progress in uh, labor examination, it was deemed fit for her to undergo a caesarean section. She was done a caesarean section at the spinal, where the operation is done with the patient conscious, and the doctors delivered um, a stillbirth, and the mother was shown the baby, male, confirmed the outcome being a stillbirth and and the baby now was uh, the dead baby was now transferred to the mortuary so at no one time from the documentation even from the history and have, we have been able to clarify to the mother at no one time did we have in our records that she had a baby who was alive what I've been able to explain to them is that possibly is in her grief and I've emphasized to the mother that she needs to really help her daughter to go through grief and understand that she didn't have a viable baby and she now needs to be helped so that she makes a good recovery and since she's just a school girl she's able to go back to school so she was aware of her surrounding and the baby was shown to her after delivery and she was able to confirm the outcome being a stillbirth. Where the baby was taken was where we take other stillbirths. Yes, and the mother actually accepted that she's pay, she paid the, the disposal fee for the fetus to the hospital. Yeah, and which I can confirm received the same. So it's the work of the hospital now to dispose the stillbirth.